Hello everyone, welcome to the rapid revision series. Okay, so today we are moving forward to our eighth lesson, right? So today will be the eighth lesson of the course. Just a minute, guys. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so sorry for the minor glitch there. Okay. So welcome to our rapid revision series of general English questions. And today our topic will be verbal analogies, right? Our topic will be verbal analogies. So there are four different types of questions. Okay. There are four different types of questions which are asked in verbal analogies. So in each type, I'll be taking four, four questions. So in today's class, you guys will be having a total of 20 questions as verbal analogies are easy and they need more number of practice. I have brought more number of questions in today's class. So there will be 20 questions. We'll try to solve every question. Okay, we'll try to solve every question. There are four different types. And I have brought four different questions in all types, okay? Four to five questions in all the types, okay? So before we start with our class, okay? The usual uh, pratha of us, right? So the Ignite Gate and ESC branch for the mechanical is starting from the 20th of April. And the same Ignite Gate and ESC branch for the electrical is starting from the 20th of April. And also it is starting for the ECE branch from the 25th of April. The features of these batch courses are all the clear concepts, basic concepts will be clear. There will be PYQs in each and every topic, numericals, and there will be exclusive doubt clearing sessions for these topics. So the people who want to buy the plus subscription or the people who want to go forward for this course, please do enroll into this course or you guys can also contact me for the plus subscription. So this is my email ID, shreyas underscore yaravind at yahoo dot in okay this is my email id you guys can contact me here or else you guys can message me in the unacademy app also message me my name is shreya say okay my name is shreya say you guys can message me in the unacademy app also so now let's start with our class verbal analogies so without doing any delay i'll move on to the first question right so this is our first question venom is to toxin as venial is to what Okay, <laughs> so basically what are verbal analogy questions? They are like this. A is to B, E is to C is to D, right? So these are called as verbal analogy questions. So what are similar in these both? It has to be similar in these both also. So that is called as an analogy. So here, venom is A, right? Toxin is B. So similarly, venial is C. So what will be the D, right? What will be the D? You guys have to choose in the answers, okay? So it is venal, maleficence, dislike and gal. Good morning Subhajit, good morning Raji, Ishika, Satyamev, Pranam. Good morning, Vikram. Right, give the answer for this, guys. Venial. Good morning, Shikha. So, venial ka matlab kya? What does venial mean? Is it tough for everyone, right? What does venial mean? T. 
okay venom is to toxin as venial is to dash okay so the correct answer here is a b maleficence okay maleficence so what is venom okay what is venom venom and toxin are synonyms okay venom and toxin are synonyms so what does venom mean venom ka matlab kya hai venom ka matlab hai poisonous liquid right what is venom poisonous liquid ab ye mat bata do ki ye marvel movie hai theek hai so it is a poisonous liquid it is not a marvel movie okay poisonous liquid so what does venial mean okay venial mean a sin okay a sin which is not serious venial means a sin okay in christianity and all these words are morally used a sin which is not serious okay which is not very serious so the god will forgive you so that is called as venial so maleficence also means the same okay maleficence also means the same right venial is a sin not serious okay and can be forgiven right and can be forgiven okay forgivable okay a sin which is forgivable is called as venial so similarly maleficence okay maleficence also means a sin which can be forgiven right any doubts guys in this most of the people who are not able to answer this huh so remember all these things okay venom toxin are synonyms so you have to find that uh, synonym of venial okay venial ka synonym hai maleficence so let's move on to the next question yeah poetry is to prose right poetry is to prose dash is to dash okay so here are four options you guys have to tell poetry is to prose so in dono ka synonyms dekhkar matlab in dono ka similarities dekhkar you guys should select the other two options right you guys should select the other two stanzas here okay other two stanzas or other two words okay so this is also like this a is to b so c is to d you have to find out C is to D नहीं पता आपको राइट ए इज टू बी पता है सो विच विल बी द राइट आंसर हियर राइट पोएट्री इज प्रोस सो विल इट बी स्टैंड आर चैप्टर आर्ट फिक्शन क्लॉज सेंटेंस नॉवल और वेरिएशन राइट यस इट इज ऑप्शन ए ओके स्टैंड आर इज टू चैप्टर सो पोएट्री का मतलब पता है राइट वी ऑल नो वॉट अ पोएट्री मीन्स ओके वॉट इज अ पोएट्री ओके स्टैंड एंड चैप्टर आर ऑल्सो डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कॉम्पोजिशन ओके प्रोज का मतलब क्या है ओके वॉट इज अ प्रोज पोएट्री इज डिफरेंट एंड प्रोज इज डिफरेंट सिमिलरली स्टैंड इज डिफरेंट चैप्टर इज डिफरेंट यू कैन गेटिंग द पॉइंट राइट सो पोएट्री इज बेसिकली अ पोएम और राइटिंग अ पोएम ओके प्रोज इज अ पोएम विच हैज फोर्टीन लाइन्स राइट Prose is a poem which has fourteen lines. So stanza का मतलब क्या है? It is basically a paragraph. What does stanza mean? It is basically a paragraph. So similarly, what will be the chapter mean? It is a whole chapter. Okay, whole chapter. So what do we tell? In the chapter, okay, in the chapter of any eminent person, this is a important stanza. Okay. in the chapter of iron man this is a stanza right so that is what we call so it is poetry and prose stanza and chapter option a is the right answer clear everyone option a is the right answer you can also name uh, the prose as another chapter okay poetry prose stands as a chapter chalo the next one preamble statute okay which will be the next two words okay preamble statute which will be the next two words
okay here what i wanted to explain is prose is not a uh, poem with 14 lines 14 lines ka poem hai sonnets okay so i wanted to explain these are two different compositions okay poem and uh, poetry and prose they are two different compositions similarly stanza and chapter are different compositions okay so don't get confused here right? here okay everyone are telling it as d right third one it is a okay a is the answer preamble statute it is a prologue and novel okay preamble is the opening or introduction and statute is a written law right preamble is the opening okay preamble ka matlab kya hai preamble ka matlab hai wo ek introduction hai right preamble ka matlab hai this is an introduction so statute is a written law so similarly prologue prologue kya hota hai what do we tell what do we call as prologue okay in the novel the starting of a novel right the starting of a novel or the introduction of a novel is called as prologue hai na you guys might have read you guys might have read many novels so take up a novel usme kya rehta hai starting mein they write it as prologue right they don't call it as right they don't call it as introduction hai na they don't call it as introduction so i will tell you where you guys went wrong index or book mein what does index mean so i have a book okay my book is btd okay basic thermodynamics what is my index my first chapter will be fundamental laws okay my second chapter will be first law of thermodynamics right my third chapter will be second law of thermodynamics so this is called as index okay it is just the introductory headlines it is the headlines of the book the headlines of the book are called as index but here we are talking about the introduction right starting mein jo index prologue dete hai okay so in all books they give a starting lines right two three chapters aega about the book why did i write the book what made me write the book right so that is called as introduction here so according to the statute which is a written law preamble is its introduction preamble is the introduction of the law why this law was framed how is this law why is this law acted upon okay so that is called as preamble so it is prologue and novel okay it is a prologue and novel novel ka introductory part hota hai prologue okay so don't get confused between index and book right don't get confused between index and book index is different index is not at all an introduction okay it is the contents of the book clear everyone clear with this shall we move on to the next question chalo the next one yes libertine is immorality dash is dash libertine is immorality dash is dash right d okay subhajit is telling it as a d okay liberty in immorality right so the correct answer is c okay altruist is selflessness okay correct answer is c altruist is selflessness so policeman is law so basically what does a policeman mean he is a profession okay profession aur uska kaam kya hai what is the work of police his work is to protect the law right his work is to protect the law but that is not accordingly here okay libertine immorality okay what does this mean libertine is a person who leads an immoral life okay libertine is a person who leads an immoral life okay usme morality nahi hoga okay so that person is called as libertine okay that person is called as libertine any person who leads an immoral life or who is a immoral okay he is called as libertine so similar way a person who is selflessness is called as altruist okay altruist is a person who leads a selflessness life okay 
he is very selfless so that person is called as altruist miser ka matlab selfishness nahi hai miser ka matlab hai he is very conscious okay he is very jipuna okay so he doesn't care about it's not selfish selfish is other thing okay selfish is becoming insecure of others so subhajit is there okay and uh, good morning archana right archana is there so archana scores the first rank so subhajit will be insecure of her subhajit is selfish of her right so subhajit ko ye pasand nahi aaya ki she came first so that is called as selfishness miser is not called as selfishness okay miser is not called as selfishness so here polis is a person okay whose duty is to protect law right polis is a person whose duty is to protect law so according to the question here it is the person and his quality okay person and quality so it obviously comes down to two right victim is not deprivation okay victim is not deprivation and policeman is not law so it is miser and altruist miser and altruist miser ka matlab it is not a person who is selfish okay the person who doesn't want to spend money miser ka matlab hai that the person doesn't want to spend money okay it is not called as it is not called as selfishness okay selfishness clear everyone deprivation okay so what does deprivation mean deprivation ka matlab hai not appreciating okay so it is called as depreciation okay you are not appreciating someone okay you are not appreciating someone that is called as deprivation okay depreciating someone okay and also detracting someone so that is called as victim okay that is called as victim what does victim mean okay victim ka matlab kya hai he has suffered something right victim means the person has suffered something so that is called as victim it is not depreciating something or it is not decreasing something right yes subhajit okay yeah the comments come late okay the comments come late in this uh, youtube so actually uh, the technical slag hota hai na so after you comment some two minutes later i'll get the comment so that is the reason it uh, the delay happens okay yes deprivation means so that is what i told okay deprivation means depreciation the opposite of appreciation not appreciating you right yes the next question open secretive fort right is to what okay if open is to secretive fort right is to what so you guys have to tell me the answer for fort right Okay, thank you. Actually, this is a tricky question. If you guys know what properly fort right is, okay. So B is mask. No. b is mask so why did you give it as b outspoken is c no how can it be mask so i confuse you guys you get confused right so it is option d the antonym of open is secretive the correct antonym of fourth right is spiteful right so open secret so these both are what what are these both tell me right this is opposite words right opposite words of each other hai na these are opposite words of each other open so what does fort right mean fort right ka matlab hai someone who is straight forward right someone who is straight forward straight forward ka antonym kya hoga one who is not straight forward okay one who is spiteful okay you cannot call it as mask mask means you are concealing yourself okay you are wearing a mask 
you are not showing your true nature to the person so that is called as mask here you are showing the nature nature ka opposite batana hai hame right nature ka opposite batana hai so it is none of the above okay fourth right means straight spoken someone who spokes or someone who is outspoken someone who talks directly okay so fourth right ka ulta kya hoga someone who talks indirectly right someone who talks indirectly so that is called as spiteful okay spiteful someone who talks indirectly someone who doesn't have an outspoken nature okay someone who is an extrovert sorry someone who is an introvert okay all these things we can use for fourth right right these both are antonyms of each other antonyms ka matlab kya hai opposite words right opposite words so obviously why mask is not the right answer okay raji you are listening right why mask is not the right answer mask is concealing yourself okay mask is concealing yourself so you are roaming around open right you are roaming around open and you conceal yourself with the mask you conceal yourself with the mask so that is called as mask okay so it is none of the above is the answer because you do not have a proper synonym for fort right okay so there are two spellings one is fort right okay hyphen and another one is fourth right okay fourth right clear everyone right so i confused you a bit right i told why can it be c so i know you guys will get confused in these questions actually in today's class no one is attempting much of the questions okay why is it tough many people are watching online but no one is attempting much right our verbal analogy is tough for you our verbal analogy is tough for you guys kyunki in most of the exams right you take ssc je or you take the rinl visag steel or the cil verbal analogies are important you get at least 4 to 5 ssc je mein to you get sometimes 7 to 8 questions on the verbal analogies itself right so these are the roughest parts chalo let's move on to the next one right myth is to story bonnet is to what tell the answer myth is to story bonnet is to what yes verbal analogies are very tough you cannot find out the proper similarity see in the previous question the previous question what happened tell me right in the previous question they were antonyms of each other so fourth right ka antonym most of the people won't know right they will go for the option b mask right yes myth is to story bonnet is to dash okay so what is myth right myth ka matlab kya hai right what is myth mean something which is not proven right something which is not proven okay so that is called as myth hai na so everyone is telling it as a right everyone is telling it as a so i'll be shocked now right you'll be shocked now the option is d right option is d myth is a story right so they both are synonyms of each other something which is not proven right so it is a fictional story right what does myth mean myth ka matlab kya hai fictional story right there was a myth right there was a myth that peshwa sorry peshwa killed around 4000 people right iska matlab kya hai right ओके okay? इसका मतलब क्या है राइट यस इवन मैकेनिकल कैन अटेंड दिस लेक्चर अक्षर ओके आपको तो पता ही है सर हम तुक्का लगाएंगे मौका कभी नहीं चढ़ते हैं राइट सो दैट इज व्हाट सो मिथ इज फिक्शनल स्टोरी तो सिमिलरली व्हाट इज बॉनेट राइट व्हाट इज बॉनेट बॉनेट का सिनोनिम क्या है राइट इट इज अट राइट बॉनेट इज दैट ऑफ ए कार so what is basically bonnet it means which is a hat okay which is the part of a car okay so you cannot call it as accessory right how can you call it as accessory tell me so i will tell you what is accessory earrings right ear okay mobile right case so this is called as accessory how can myth be an accessory of the story right myth cannot be the accessory of a story right so if i write as 
चैप्टर एंड स्टोरी यस यू कैन कॉल इट एज एन एक्सेसरी है ना इशिका अर्चना शुभजीत सत्यमेव राइट ऑल ऑफ यू गिव इट एज ए सो एक्सेसरी का मतलब क्या है बाबा राइट टेल मी व्हाट एन एक्सेसरी मींस सो इफ आई राइट पेन द एक्सेसरी ऑफ पेन मे बी रिफिल राइट और द नेब और द पेन कैप सो दीज आर कॉल्ड एज एक्सेसरीज I cannot call something which is not in a pen as an accessory, right? Myth का मतलब है, it is not followed, right? It is not followed. So basically, it is a story, right? Fictional story. So Harry Potter is a myth. So Harry Potter को हम क्या बोलेंगे, right? We will call it as a fictional story. So similarly, bonnet will be a hat. Clear people? I know verbal analogies are very tough, and I will try to finish all the twenty questions, okay? Or else you guys can have the other, you know. Other questions as homework and you guys can ask me your doubts, right? Chalo. Next question. Question seven. So this is easy one. So everyone can give this answer. Scissors is to cut. Kettle is to what? So I brought some easy questions also, right? So scissors is cut. Kettle. <coughs> Sorry. Kettle is what? कैंडल मोदी राइट सो सिजर्स इज यूज फॉर कटिंग राइट सिजर्स इज समथिंग वी यूज फॉर कटिंग सो कैटल इज समथिंग वी यूज फॉर बॉइलिंग है ना सिजर्स इज समथिंग वी यूज फॉर कटिंग एंड कैटल इज समथिंग वी यूज फॉर बॉइलिंग और इज इट हीटिंग राइट सो टेल मी द डिफरेंस हियर कैटल इज यूज फॉर बॉइलिंग वॉटर और फॉर हीटिंग वॉटर Why is kettle used? Is it used for boiling water or heating water? So, hamesha mummy kya kam karti hai kitchen mein, right? She places a tumbler on the stove, right, with water. So, this is called as boiling, right? Kettle mein ham kya karte hai? Kettle mein we put cold water, right? We put cold water. It produces hot temperature, right? So, tell me the answer. Will it be boil or heat? I'm giving you guys another chance, right? है ना सो इट इज बॉइलिंग इट इज बॉइलिंग और हीटिंग टेल मी इट इज बॉइलिंग स्टिल यू गाइस आर इन बॉइलिंग सो इट इज ऑप्शन बी ओके ऑप्शन बी इज द आंसर राइट एक्चुअली आई टेल यू टेक्निकली इट इज बोथ ओके इट इज बोथ ए एंड बी ओके ए एंड बी बोथ इज द आंसर ओके ए एंड बी बोथ इज द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन सो दे हैड गिवन बोथ एज द आंसर ओके जिसने बॉयल लिखा था और हीट लिखा था सी बॉइलिंग इज ऑल्सो यू नो यू आर इंक्रीजिंग द टेम्परेचर राइट बॉइलिंग इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजिंग द टेम्परेचर हीटिंग इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजिंग द टेम्परेचर राइट आई एम बॉइलिंग विद एंगर सो मेरा गुस्सा ज्यादा बढ़ रहा है राइट सो इस टेम्परेचर इज हीटिंग सो इस टेम्परेचर इज इंक्रीजिंग वॉट इज बोथ मीन राइट बोथ मीन्स इंक्रीजिंग इन टेम्परेचर राइट बोथ मीन्स इंक्रीजिंग इन टेम्परेचर सो इट इज बोथ ए एंड बी ओके बोथ ए एंड बी so those people who gave it as b also it is true guys who gave it as a also it is true okay both of them boiling water or heating water dono ko sahi answer diya tha is question mein right so the uh, this one is wrong okay the given statement is wrong so i misplanted a statement the opposite of winner is loser opposite of achiever is player to wo ho gaya so i will change it in the pdf the answer i'll change it it is both option b and a okay both option b and a so i consider it as b you can consider it as a right chalo fill the odd one out right find the odd one out parrot bat crow sparrow so which is the odd one out here so we are moving to the another type of question now right so we did two types of questions till now eight questions four four in each so this is another type okay 
So Subhajit might know this. Subhajit and other people who have listened, okay, who have seen the previous year questions of SSC, right? SSC may SI questions at that, right? These are the questions you guys will be getting in SSC JE. Okay. These are the questions you guys will be getting in SSC JE. SSC JE may as a questions boards are at that. So which is the right answer? Okay, boil, boil, boil. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, I didn't tell boil is wrong. Okay, you guys can use either boil or heating. Right? Bohat ladki aai hai sir aaj ke class mein. Acha, acha, fine. SSCJE, these type of questions you'll get. Odd one out. They will give you four and you have to choose the odd one out here. So it is parrot, bat, crow and sparrow, right? So it is parrot is a bird, right? Bat is a mammal. Again, crow is also a bird, so it is MMA, right? And this is also a bird, right? So which one is the odd one out? Right? Which one is the odd one out in this question? It is a B bat, right? So all three, right? A comma C comma D are birds, right? Whereas B is a mammal, right? Bat is a mammal. Chalo, let's move on to the next question, okay? This was an easy one. Chalo, the next one. Ample, copious, plentiful abundance. Ample, copious, plentiful, abundance. So, which one is the odd one out here? Yes, all of you are right. Okay. Aman, Alivia, Aishwarya, Aishwarya. Sorry. Yes. Raji, Ishika. Everyone. Supriya. Every one of you are right in this. Ample amount, right? Ample amount ka matlab kya hai? Tell me, what does ample amount? We have ample amount of food, right? We have ample amount of food, right? Copious ka matlab kya hai, right? Copious ka matlab kya hai? So the thing is, you guys know the meaning of ample, plentiful and abundance. That is the reason you guys are giving it as copious, right? That is the reason you guys are giving it as copious. So get ready for another shock. The answer is D, abundance, right? Except abundance, all mean sufficient amount, right? Abundance is used for more than sufficient amount, right? Abundance is used for more than sufficient amount. I will tell you, right? Ample amount. We have ample amount of food, right? We have sufficient amount of groceries, so, every chief minister is telling this, right? Every chief minister. So, lockdown, right? So, what are all the chief ministers telling, right? What are all the chief ministers telling, right? We have ample amount of groceries. No need to panic, right? We have ample amount of groceries. No need to panic. So, copious. Copious also means sufficient, right? Copious also means sufficient, right? Plentiful, right? We have plentiful, sufficient, okay? This abundance means more than sufficient. Okay. We have abundant amount. Right. We have abundant amount of groceries. Right. We have ample amount of groceries. That is, we have a sufficient amount of groceries. Jitna chahiye utna hai. Jitna chahiye utna hai. We have abundant amount of groceries. Right. Shah Rukh Khan has abundant amount of fans. Badke. Sabse badke uske fans hai, right? Shah Rukh Khan has abundant amount of fans. That means he has lots of fans. You guys got the point here? Ample, copious and plentiful. These three mean just sufficient, which is needed. Okay? Which is needed. Abundant means more than needed. Agar khatam bhi ho gaya, to hamare paas hai. Right? Abundant means more than needed. Understood guys? So these are where you guys will commit mistakes. Verbal analogies, though it looks very easy, it is very tough to crack. Verbal analogies, though it is very easy subject, it is very tough to crack. Because do second nahi lagta confuse on me. Do second nahi lagta confuse on me. Right? Chalo. We'll move on to the next question now. Right? So question 10. Papaya, watermelon, jackfruit, gava. Right? Papaya, watermelon, jackfruit, guava. So, what is the odd one out here? <laughs> P 
പപ്പായ വാട്ടർമെലൻ ജാക്ക് ഫ്രൂട്ട് ഗോവ ആ मेरा क्लास है तो कटरीना गिफ का नाम आएगा ही है ना के के ऑल साहब अबेंड नंबर ऑफ डाई हार्ड फैक्ट्स राइट पपाया वाटरमेलन जैक फ्रूट गोवा राइट सो या देयर आर लॉट ऑफ कंफ्यूजंस हियर राइट कौन सा करें हम वाटरमेलन करें जैक फ्रूट करें पपाया करें गवा करें राइट राइट विच इज द आंसर्स राइट सो टेल मी वेयर इज वाटरमेलन ग्रोन वेयर इज पपाया ग्रोन वेयर इज जैक फ्रूट ग्रोन वेयर इज गोवा ग्रोन हाँ ये तो आना ही था राइट सो दिस इज अनदर टफ क्वेश्चन राइट अनदर टफ क्वेश्चन यू गाइज के नॉट डिसाइड राइट ओके You guys cannot decide here. You guys cannot decide which one. आप जैक फ्रूट भी बता सकते हो आप वाटरमेलन भी बता सकते हो आप गोवा भी बता सकते हो ये तीनों बड़े हैं साइज में राइट पपाया वाटरमेलन जैक फ्रूट आर बिग इन साइज गोवा इज स्मॉल इन साइज राइट सॉरी गोवा इज स्मॉल इन साइज एंड ऑल्सो पपाया इज ग्रोन इन द ग्राउंड वाटरमेलन इज ग्रोन इन द ग्राउंड जैक फ्रूट एंड गोवा दे ग्रोन इन द ट्रीज राइट They are grown in the trees. Yeah, trees me ho hota hai jackfruit, right? So you can tell any one of them, right? You can tell any one of them. So which one will be the right answer? It is option B, right? All others grow on trees, while watermelon grows on creepers. Okay, all others grow on trees, while watermelon grows on creepers. Okay, so papaya it grows on trees. Jackfruit is a vegetable. Jack fruit is a fruit, Baba. Right? Jack fruit we eat is as a fruit. Okay? Some people also use it as a vegetable. Okay? Some people use it as a fruit. So papaya it is grown on trees. Okay? Jack fruit is grown on trees. Guava is grown on trees. Guava ka matlab kya hai? Same. Right? Guava ka matlab kya hai? Same. Okay? Watermelon it is grown as creepers. Right? Creepers. So kabi kabi terrace me you get the watermelons. Watermelon is found in the ground. Right? Does watermelon grow on trees? Tell me. Papaya it grows on trees. Papaya ka leaf hota hai, right? Papaya leaf everyone remembers. Papaya tree leaf. It is used for. It is used as an antibiotic, right? Jack fruit is not a vegetable. Okay. Jack fruit is used both as a vegetable and fruit. Okay. both as a vegetable and fruit so i don't know in some areas it might be used as a vegetable but if you come to karnataka and all right we use it as a fruit here okay okay we use it as a fruit a jack fruit is used as a fruit in many parts of the countries okay wo yellow color hota hai right wo yellow color so we eat it most of the people here they are stalls there are stalls they give one jack fruit for 3 rupees okay so we eat it as a fruit it is sweet no jack fruit is sweet right jack fruit is sweet so it is used both as a vegetable and fruit i'm not telling it is not used as a vegetable yes some people also use it as a vegetable jo small small jack fruit aata hai right the jack fruit which are small in size so they use it as a vegetable to khana mein dalte hai right but it is used both as a yes it is used both right it is used both as a fruit and vegetable but here i will tell you there are multiple options here okay i am not telling you guys are wrong okay i uh, yes i am not telling you guys are wrong you guys are also true there are multiple options if you go by the size goa is very small right if you go by the size goa is very small watermelon jackfruit or papaya aayega right then you can also go with other things right there are many other relations but according to the answer right so this is a pyq the answer was given as b okay so that is what i am telling yes you can go with the size of the seeds you can tell jack fruit has bigger seeds yes papaya watermelon and guava has small seeds so jack fruit has big seeds that is one true i can also go with the size papaya watermelon and jack fruit are bigger in size guava is very small in size right to wo bhi kar sakta hu main right i can also go with this right and papaya has papaya watermelon and jack fruit okay so all this 
okay all this are true so yes in exam point of view i'll tell you exam point of view always go with the growth okay this is exam point of view exam point of view you must always think about the growth right so i will give you the example here carrot radish right spinach carrot radish spinach cucumber carrot radish spinach cucumber right which one will be the odd one out sorry sorry change it to brinjal okay carrot radish spinach brinjal right understood right so you should always go with the growth you should always grow with the growth here carrot radish spinach brinjal okay so you should always grow with the growth that is the exam point of view okay if you go with the size and all yes the question which i gave it is very confusing if you go by the size jackfruit is bigger in size goa is smaller in size it has lots of seeds right so you can choose any one of it but exam point of view mein you should always go with the growth where they are grown how they are grown okay so the basic what is the first thing what is the first thing in nature how you are grown right how you are grown so that is why you will tell so if i write okay boy male adult right boy male adult and aged old one so what will be the odd one out here right what will be the odd one out boy male adult old one Right, which is the odd one out? Tell me the odd one out here. This is another PYQ actually, another confusing question. So, is my odd one out case? Nikal ho gaya. Old one. Are you guys sure? Right. What is male? What is male? Male and female, right? Male and female. So isn't it male is the odd one out here? How can it be old one? So I have told you growth in the exam point of view. So you are thinking about growth also here. You already have an odd one out here, right? Boy, adult, and old one. They are three stages of life, right? They are three stages of life. Male is not a stage of life. right male is not a stage of life so male is the odd one out no i'm talking about gender so now i am an adult okay so two, two years before i was a boy right 40 years after i will be a old one okay so these three are stages of life right boy adult and old one are stages of life male is a gender so male is the odd one out okay so when you find a proper odd one out select it if you are not finding it then go for the growth one okay if there are multiple options right so this question had multiple options so at that point of time you should go with the growth growth is the fundamental right growth is fundamental so you should go with the growth in these questions and all it is known male is the odd one out right so the next question yes find the odd one out here so these are very tricky questions beijing melbourne paris athens right very tricky questions these are right so i will tell you guys right what is the correct one beijing is the capital of china right paris is the capital of france right athens is the capital 
of Greece, right? Melbourne is just a city in Australia, right? Melbourne is just a city in Australia. Okay, Melbourne is just a city in Australia. You know? So it is option B. Okay, option B. All others are capital cities. Melbourne is not a capital city. Okay, Melbourne is not a capital city. Yes, see that is what I told, okay. These are very tricky questions. You can find the odd one out however you want, okay. You can find the odd one out however you want. But what I told, it should be fundamental, right. It should be fundamental. So capital cities are fundamental, right. You cannot tell it is in Asia, right. You cannot tell it is in Asia. You cannot tell it is in there, right. You cannot tell. So these are capital cities. Beijing is the capital of China. Melbourne is the city in Australia. Okay. Paris is the capital of France. Athens is the capital of Greece. Right. Athens is the capital of Greece. But Melbourne, it is just a city. Okay. Melbourne, it is just a city. So Melbourne is the odd one out. These are very tricky questions. The odd one out are very tricky questions. Right. There will be thousands of uh, fundamentals here. But you should go with the fundamental quality. So this is not fundamentals. So verbal analogy my fundamental kya hota hai? The growth, capital cities, similarities. Okay. Ah, baki si Paris my Olympics ka, ah, yeah. Yeah, you can find out like that. Okay. You can find out like that also. So I should go with the fundamentals. Okay. It is the capital cities. All others are capital cities. While member, okay, Jets nahi, just. Was our spelling mistake match, right? While Melbourne is just the city of Australia, right? So now the next thing I am bringing, okay? These were odd one out questions. I'll bring it again, okay? Once the, our daily re revision series is finished, I will also bring up some more questions on odd one out, right? So now let's solve this. Minor is to query, right? Minor is to query. So what is to what, okay? Here I have given A is to B. So you guys have to see C is to D, okay? C is to D. Minor is to query. So dash is to dash. Right. So what is a minor? Right. Minor is a person. Right. Minor is a person. What is query? Right. What is query? Okay, query ka matlab kya hai? What does query mean? Query is a place, right? Query is a place, the deep pit, the deep pit, okay? The deep pit where the miners work, it is called as the place. Okay, KGF movie dekha hoga aap logo ne? They go through the deep pits, right? So that is called as a query. So carpenter saw, saw is what? Saw is an article, okay? So as an article, it is an object, the carpenters used. Brush is an article, the carpenters used. Soyet, it is a 14 line poem, right? Soyet, sonnet is a 14 line poem. Atelier is the place where sculptors work, right? Atelier is the place where sculptors work. So it is option D, okay? It is option D, right? Minor query, so it is option D. And uh, the place where the people work. Relation is to worker, right? Worker is to place of work. Sonnet is a poem with 14 lines, right? So another this type of questions are there guys I will drop the PDF to you so do solve this as homework okay we will go to the another type of question the prominent type of question we have just five minutes I'll go to the another type of question right so question 13 question 14 is like this right question 15 also now we will go for this yes find the odd one out when two things are given okay so I've skipped three questions I've skipped three questions because time is not there 
okay so find this one out because i have to practice this question also for you okay so i'll be skipping two three questions you guys can solve it as homework okay i will give off the pdf in the group okay group mein i will put off the pdf you guys solve it as homework okay so tell me the odd one out here door is to bang piano is to play rain is to patter drum is to beat okay which one will be the odd one out here question 16 right yes door is to bang piano play rain patter drum beat so which is the right answer of the 16th question it is option b right it is option b option b is the correct one why i will tell you okay in all the pairs except b second is the sound made by the first okay in all the pairs right so door okay what is banging when you bang the door this is the sound right rain when rain happens patter is the sound okay when you beat the drum this is the sound whereas piano the sound is not to play what is the sound of piano right piano ka sound kya hai is play the sound of piano right it is no so option b is the odd one out okay you bang the door you push the door hardly dum that bang is the sound of the door patter the falling of rain drops the falling of rain drops that is the sound of rain the beats of the drum right the beats of the drum it is the sound of drum so similarly piano is to play that is not at all a sound you are playing the piano you should name a sound there right so rhythmic saxophones okay you should play flute ka sound kya hota hai the whistle flute ka sound is the whistle you cannot tell play as the sound of a flute right so it is option b understood understood people right yes these questions are very tricky that is the reason i am moving forward hai na so i move to the next one clear here everyone so i move to the next one okay yes find the odd one out here we have three more questions find the odd one out pelican is to reptile gnu is to antelope elk is to deer shark is to fish so which is the odd one out here do you guys know what a pelican is right pelican dekhe the long beak long beak a duck type of animal right duck type of animal So I have given you guys a hint here, right? I have given you guys a hint here, right? See, pelican is not a reptile. Pelican is a bird. Okay, pelican is a bird. So A is the uh, odd one out. Okay, gnu it is an antelope. Elk is a type of deer. Shark is a type of fish. Everyone getting the point here? Gnu is a type of antelope. elk is a type of deer there are so many deer okay you have the reindeer you have the stag okay you have the winter deer okay shark is a type of fish there are many types of fishes whale is there gold fish small fish right all this gnu is a type of antelope there are many types of antelopes in that gnu is one of them but pelican is not a reptile pelican is a duck shape to wo long beak wala hota hai right so this long beak it will be there for a pelican okay it is basically a duck a type of a duck so pelican is a type of bird it is not type of reptile so option a is the odd one now right option a in all pairs except a first is a type of second pelican is type of a bird it is not type of a reptile okay it is the type of a bird understood right yes two more questions right find the odd one out cockroach is to antenna lizard is to flagella hydra is to tentacles plasmodium is to cilia right plasmodium is to cilia which is the odd one out
Okay, wait for another shock now, right? So it is option B. In all other except B, second is the organ used by first for its movement. In all others except B, okay? So antenna, the cockroach, it moves by its antenna, okay? It moves by its antenna. So antenna ko aise aise karke it moves, okay? So that is, this is the movement of antenna. Lizard, it doesn't move by its flagella, right? Lizard, it does not move by its flagella. Hydra moves by its tentacles. Plasmodium moves by its cilia. Right? Plasmodium moves by its cilia. Hydra moves by its tentacles. Cockroach moves with the help of its antenna. Okay? It moves with the help of its antenna. Yes, cockroach has legs. Right? But it has that motion sensor. Okay? Cockroaches ka motion sensor hota hai antenna. With the help of its antennas, it will find out if there is something in front of it. And it moves accordingly. Okay? Cockroach ka antenna hamesha move hota hai. Right? You guys might have seen cockroaches. Cockroaches is the most common animal which we, anyone can see. Right? Their antennas are always moving, right? Because they are sensing, right? Because they are sensing what is happening in front of them. So they move with the help of their antenna. Lizard doesn't move with the help of its flagella, right? Lizard doesn't move with the help of its flagella. Hydra moves with the help of its tentacles and plasmodium with cilia, right? So cilia. So B is the odd one out here, right? B is the odd one out. Chalo, the last two questions, 19 and 20, find the odd one out. Dog, den, out and fed, okay? Which is the odd one out here? Right? So, what? Okay. O. I, U, E. Right? So get ready for another shock. It is option C. Right? It is option C. I showed you guys. O, I, N. Right? So how many ovals are here? What are the ovals in English language? It is A, E, I, O, U. Right? So how many ovals are here? O, 1. How many ovals are here? I, 1. How many ovals are here? O, comma, U, 2. How many ovals are here? E, 1. So which is the odd one out? Right? Which is the odd one out? The odd one out is C. All others have one oval. This has a two ovals, right? All others have only one oval, okay? Option C has two ovals. So C is the odd one out, right? C is the odd one out here, okay? Get ready for another shock, right? Okay, so verbal analysis mein itna dekhna padta hai satya mein, okay? So these are competitive exams, right? So why do you see more number of Verbal analogy questions in competitive exams because they know people will fail here, right? Because they know students will commit mistakes. Students will get into confusions here, right? So no one actually gave the option C here. Yes, yes, that is what it is there, okay? That is what is there about verbal analogies. So you have to practice it, right? Keep on practicing large number of it, okay? So I am here. Don't worry. If you guys want one more uh, class also, I'll bring it up. There is no problem for me. I can bring up many classes on verbal analogies. But what I need is your assistance. If you guys tell me to bring, I will bring. If you guys don't suggest me, I don't know that I have to bring such classes. I should know, know what you are facing difficulties with. Right? Okay? Yes. So that is what. So verbal analysis, you have to see it carefully. You have to see it carefully. If you get the answer, then everyone will score out of 14 competitive exams. Right? 
तो इधर आराम से मिलेगा तो एवरी वन स्कोर आउट ऑफ फोर्ड सो दे विल मेक श्योर दे विल कीप जस्ट क्रक्स मोमेंट्स राइट <laughs> right yes the last question find the odd one out 48675555624366655 is question ke baad to mujhe marenge sab log right so this question is also tough i know this is tricky let me see who will give the right answer but marenge mujhe log is question ke baad okay the last question okay yes sir more classes sure i'll bring more classes itni bezedi kabhi nahi hua <laughs> राइट सो इट इज फोर प्लस एट प्लस सिक्स प्लस सेवन फाइव प्लस फाइव प्लस फाइव प्लस फाइव राइट सिक्स प्लस टू प्लस फोर प्लस थ्री ओके सिक्स प्लस सिक्स प्लस फाइव प्लस Five, right? Six plus six plus five plus five. So four plus eight is twelve, right? Four plus eight, twelve. Twelve plus six, eighteen. Eighteen plus seven, twenty-five. Twenty-five gets divided by five, right? Then again, five plus five, five plus five, twenty. It also gets divided by five, right? Here six plus two, eight. Eight plus four, twelve. Twelve plus three, fifteen. It also gets divided by five. Here six plus six, twelve, right? 12, 20, so it is 22 divided by 5. नहीं होगा, right? So it is option D. Okay? It is option types D. Okay? So D A D B D B D. Okay? So Raji, how did you get it as B? How did you get it as B, Raji? so you guys tell me the people who got a and b so why did you get it as ab of of kya hai see actually 5 5 uh, this uh, b option and d option both get divided by 5 okay and you cannot take out one odd one out here right you cannot take out one odd one out Or six is not there in option B. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh? Six is there in option D. No. So like that. Yeah, divide wala. Okay. So why you divided by five? Because five is the more easier number. No. All three are getting divided by five. Right. Five is the most common multiple. Right. Five two. These both are common multiples in maths. Right. Ha. Huh? Five and two. It gets two gets divided by every other number. Five also gets divided by every number which stands with five and zero, right? Five and zero. Isliye we divide with five and two, right? Isliye we divide with five and two. Okay. If you divide by two, right? Five and two are common multiples. If you divide by two, only this one will be true. Other three will become wrong, right? So at that point also you can tell this is the odd one now, right? If you divide by two, twenty-five divided by five nahi hoga. Fifty divided by five nahi hoga. Twenty divided by two hoga. Right, so there are two options. So for getting one option, I am divided by five. Right, clear everyone. Right, how are the questions today? Clear everyone. Any doubts? Any doubts? The six wala bhi must have aise. Right, ha. Huh. Actually, the six one is also good. Good, Raji. Okay, finding out that six. But yeah, no. But actually, the right answer is D. Okay, right answer is D. Okay. So, how was the classes today? Right. How were the questions? Okay. So, I will give out my mail ID here. S H R E Y A S underscore E R A V I N D at Yahoo dot in. Okay. So, this is my email ID. So, if you guys want to contact me, please do contact me here. Or as you guys can message me on the An Academy app also, An Academy Learning app. You can message me there. My name is Shreya Se. Okay. So there are two groups of us. Okay. General Aptitude Discussion and General Aptitude Notes group. So I will be providing my notes and also the discussion there. 
so you guys can join the group if you leave me a message in any one of these things i will join you guys to that group okay so before finishing the class the gated esa subscription one of the best features of an academy right one of the best features of an academy they have started it so it is 5000 per month and for the other months that is for the 3 to 24 month plan you guys will be getting around 15 to 20% off right 10% off by using my referral code shreyas servind or sayyt and 5 to 6 uh, 5 to 10% off by using the credits right 5 to 6% off by using your credits so if you go for the 3 months plan if you have more credits the 12500 will come down to 10274 and this option is available only for these plans for the one month plan there is only 10 percentage off right 10 percentage off so if there is anyone who is uh, willing to buy the an academy plus subscription or are willing to talk to me or willing to be in the groups please do message me in this okay please do mail me in this email address or message me by using the an academy learning app my name is shreyas right okay awesome very tricky questions thank you ishika right basically to hua right okay yes i will take more classes on verbal analogies so before finishing the class tomorrow 10:30 am you will have another class on youtube so tomorrow mostly i'll be taking synonyms okay synonyms antonyms verbal comprehension okay ordering of sentences so these are the next five classes okay after these five classes once this whole schedule is finished okay by april 14th we'll be finishing all the schedule okay april 14th okay ha main 50% discount bhi deta hu ha right april 14th okay april 14th uh, we have daily classes on general english after april 14th i will come up with more sessions on verbal analogies right after april 14th i'll come up with more sessions on analogies so thank you guys if there is any doubt please do let me know okay So plus users today at 3:30 p.m. You guys have your plus course also complete course on numerical ability where I'll be taking all the fundamentals of numerical ability. Right? Thank you guys. If there is any doubt, please do let me know. I'll be live for a minute and see you all in the next session, which is tomorrow 10:30 a.m. Right? Tomorrow 10:30 a.m. will be the next session. So most probably I'll be taking synonyms or verbal comprehension tomorrow. Okay? Same time. And sorry for the delay in time. Actually, this should be a forty-five minute session, and I have made it one and a half hour session, right? Literally one minute. Uh, okay, half an hour. Zyada liya maine. Okay, I solved all the questions. Three questions I left it off, right? You guys can solve it as homework because I had to solve all the different types, you know. So thank you guys. Ah, Subhijit. Ah, don't hustle, hustle. Right? Thank you, Satyamev. Thank you everyone who have attended throughout the session. Okay, so I will see you all in the next class, which is tomorrow 10:30 a.m. Okay, have a happy day and please do stay safe.